So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to use git diff or git show in order to, to visualize the difference between your working directory, the staging area, or your commit. So right now, I'm going to create a file which has different version in the working directory, in the staging area, commit, and I will do several commit. Okay, so first I'm going to go to my working directory and I'll do git bash over here. First, I will create a local repo using git init and then I'll create a file called 10.txt. So in this file, I put one and save it and I'm going to commit this file git commit negative m 10.txt commit negative m one. Okay, so I'm going to edit the file again and this time I'm going to add two and I'm going to commit it and this time I will skip staging area and I will put the commit message as one two all right so if you do git status right now you can see that uh, if you do git log right now you can see really have two commit the first commit only has one and the second commit has one and two and right now I'm going to do a third commit and this time I'll put three save it as it and I'm going to commit and I'll put one two and three all right so if i do a git log right now we have three commit okay so i'm going to add so this time i'll add four as it and this time i will only add the file to the staging area so right now the 10.txt in your staging area will have one two three and four okay so right now i'm going to edit the file again this is the last time and it will be you have five okay so uh, the files that i've created will match just what i have written here okay so just now i've created five which is in your working directory and your staging area has one two three four your latest commit has one two three your latest second commit you have one two and your first commit you have only one all right so let us go through all these seven git commands okay so right now clear the windows if you do a git diff so git diff is going to show us the difference between the working directory and the staging area so what is the difference between the working directory and the staging area so the working directory has an extra five so you can see that right now it has an extra five between this working directory and staging area so this is how you give us a git diff to see the difference and right now, let us go to the second command, git diff negative, negative cache. So this will show us the difference between the staging area and the head. So what is your head? So if you do git log, you can see that the head is a pointer which is pointing to the latest commit. And your, right now, your latest commit has 1, 2, and 3. And your staging area has 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you do git diff negative, negative cache, you see the difference between the staging area and the latest commit is an extra four. So that's an extra four. You can see it over here. And you can also actually use git diff negative negative stage. It's actually just a, a synonym towards the git diff cache. All right. So you can see there's an extra four between staging area and the latest commit. Okay. So let us go to the third command, git diff head. So git diff head is going to show us the difference between the head and the working directory. So the head is your latest commit and the working directory is over here. If you do git diff head, you can see there's an extra four and five. So it matches what we have written here. The working directory has an extra four and five. Right now, the next one is git diff head and with this operator. So this operator it means the commit before the head. So what is your commit before the head? If you do git log, the commit before the head is this commit, right? It only has one and two, which is your second commit. So this git diff head is going to show the difference between the commit before the head, which is this one, and the working directory, okay? So it's going to be an extra three, four, and five, all right? You can see there's an extra three, four, and five. And the next one, 
I'm going to show you is git div head with another head which you can choose the commit before the head or several commit before the head div head head one if I put something like this this means that it's going it's going to show the difference between the head which is latest commit and the commit before the head so if I put two it's going to show the difference between the head which is latest commit and the commit two times before the latest commit which is the first commit okay so if i do this command you can see the difference between the head and the first commit is two and three and you can actually visualize it this way if you do git div git div head two and head right it's going to show positive positive but if you do just now if you do this one it's going to show negative you can visualize this way if you do this one right it means that in order to go from this commit which is the first commit to the head commit to the latest commit you have to add this two line okay and for this one in order to go from the latest commit to the first commit you have to minus this two line okay so this is the difference if you put the head in front or the head behind okay so right now if you do git div head one and head it shows you if you want to go from second commit to the latest commit you have to add an extra line which is three and another shortcut is that you can actually use git show so git show is actually similar to the this one is showing the difference between the head and the commit before the head so it means that if you want to go from the commit before the head to the latest commit you have you are going to add a tree all right so the last git command that i'm going to show you is git div with the commit id so if you do git log right now if you want to see the difference between a certain commit the difference between this commit and this commit you can actually type git div this commit and this commit right you can see in order to go from this commit to this commit you have to throw away these two lines and if you want to go from this commit let's say this commit towards this commit you have to add an extra line which is three okay so these are the example of how you use a git div in order to visualize the difference between the working directory the staging area and the commit the lo your and your local repository and you have to remember from your working directory to your local repository there are three stage okay and this is how you use a git div or git show to visualize the difference okay so thank you so much for watching